Hi everyone, I'm here today with a tutorial for this eye look. This is not a full get ready with me, I just show you how to do the eyes, but at the end of the video I do share with you what is on the rest of my face. Um, and then I will link down below, my shirt's from Target and this is from Stella and Doc, but I will um, mention it down below too as well if you um, have forgotten by the time you watch this video. But anyways, I wanted to share with you guys a eye tutorial that I came up with. I've been really wanting to use the Utopia pigment from Makeup Geek. It is so beautiful. It's such a unique color because it kind of pulls like a greeny taupe color and just depending on what base you put under it, what color you stick in your crease, it will kind of shift the color of the actual like glitter pigment. And I can't remember if I've done a tutorial with this pigment. I know I've used it before and I paired it with a lot more warmer browns, but today I paired it with purples and I love the way it turned out. I used a taupe base underneath and then a taupey eyeshadow and then put the Utopia pigment on top and it does pull a little bit green, but I think it looks really pretty uh, with this purple. So anyways, if you guys wanna see how I created this eye look, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I've already kind of got this eye mostly done. I still have to do the underneath my foundation and everything else. So uh, I primed my eyes. I just used the Sigma base and Persuade. It's just a nice nude base. Then I'm gonna go in with a E40 brush from Sigma, don't mind this. Ethan decided to um, stick this brush in a drawer and peel it apart. So I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek's uh, Uninterrupted, which is a really pretty kind of dusty purple. We're just going to start off by running this in the crease. This is just going to be a nice transition shade. And I was really excited to try another look using the Utopia pigment from Makeup Geek because the only way I've ever worn it is with very warm, kind of orangey brown. So I wanted to kind of pair it with a purple today. And it has kind of like a purpley green, um, like a purple crease with kind of a green sparkly lid. It does pull quite green. So I'm going to go in with a combination of these two colors. This is MAC Vibrant Grape and MAC Fig One. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite crease brushes, which is a stiff dome brush from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that brighter purple. And then just a little bit of that fig one, which is that deeper purple. And we're going to start running this into the crease. Just like that. And I'm kind of doing a cut crease. I'm not um, putting any of that purple down to the lash line. I'm not connecting or doing a V or anything like that. And then go back in with a little bit of uninterrupted and just kind of blend out that line up here. Next, I'm going to go in with a base. This is a Sephora Jumbo Crayon in Dark Taupe Shimmer. And I'm going to just put this on the lid and taking it just right up to the crease. These Sephora pencils are amazing. I absolutely love them. I've quite a few colors. Very creamy, very blendable. They last all day and they don't crease or get crepey, which I love. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Makeup Geek's Homecoming, which is a really pretty taupe color. And use a MAC 239. We're just using this as a base for that Utopia pigment. And I'm basically just putting this on the lid. Next, I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Glitter Glue. Um, I love this stuff. I don't use it enough, but I've been really into glitters and pigments lately, so this has been fun kind of pulling this out because I do have quite a few glitters that I'm having fun playing with. Okay, so I just put a light layer of that on the lid. Then I'm gonna just use um, this brush, another MAC 239, to pick up some product. I tried using my finger, but it just doesn't stick to my finger well. And you're gonna get a ton of fallout, so I'm actually going to take, this is a MAC wet wipe. And I'm just going to set this under my eye just because this has a ton of fallout. And that glitter glue is really going to help um, adhere to it. 
And I didn't use a tissue on my other eye and I had glitter all over my face. So as you can see, it's just a beautiful like disco glitter. It's so pretty. And then clean up any other glitter that might have fallen on your face. Take that brush and just make sure you get right into that crease. Uh, for my brow bone, I still need to do my brows and foundation, which I will um, do off camera to save time. I'm just going to use the two colors from the Urban Bikini Naked Basics that I always use, Walk of Shame and Foxy. I just blend them together and highlight this brow bone a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do just a very thin line of gel liner. This is the Anastasia Gel Liner in Jet, which is like my favorite gel liner ever. And I'm just, I'm not doing any wing, I'm just tracing the lash line. Okay, I'm gonna pop on some lashes, do my brows and foundation, and I will be right back. All right guys, that is the finish look. I did pop a little bit of MAC nylon, just right into that inner corner, just kind of brighten it up a little bit. For the rest of my face, I used Tarte Exposed Blush. I used my Smashbox Star Big Stardust, this really pretty highlight that's almost gone. And then for my lips, I used these amazing, amazing lip products. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Bound, and then the Lippy Stick, which is their lipstick in Bound as well, which the lipstick's a little bit more of a lighter pink. This is a little bit of a deeper nude. And so I just lined my lips and then popped this on top. And I love how it came out. I really, really love the Utopia pigment. I think it's one of the most unique pigments I've ever seen. So, so I wanted to do another look using the Utopia pigment, but not using such warm browns. Like I think I, I think I did do a tutorial possibly using the Utopia pigment and I did pair it with brown. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.